Hey guys, Chris Funk here. September the 18th, I just found out today it's Wife Appreciation Day. I appreciate my wife so much, I'm going to make her a big old batch of buckboard bacon. And I appreciate y'all so much, I'm going to take you through the process. Got a big old buck, got a bone in it. First thing we need to do is get a knife out and whittle that out because we don't want to cure the bone. Alright y'all, got to cut off the bone. I cut it into three pieces just because that's part of the way it came off the bone. And then the other large section I cut just to try to get them sort of uniform. It's just going to work better on the smoker. I don't have to worry about, you know, one large piece and one small piece on the timing on the smoker. Now all your instructions you need, this is high mountain seasoning, buckboard bacon cure. Uh, all the instructions that you need are here. The most important thing you're going to need is a scale and your measuring spoons because it's, it's an accurate measurement and you need to have an accurate weight. Alright y'all, got the dry mix put in there, follow the instructions and end up being one tablespoon per pound, one and a quarter teaspoon per pound. Each one of these is about three pounds. So I've got it measured up. Next thing you do is make sure it covers every inch of that meat. Best way to do it is with your bare hands. Alright, got them thoroughly seasoned. I went everywhere there was a knife mark, anywhere you want that rub to be in every nook and cranny on these. So it's going to cure the entire thing. I've got them wrapped up good, good and sealed. They're going to go on the bottom of the fridge for 10 days. Now the instructions say rotate them after the fifth day. Some home cure guys do it every other day. I tend to go every other day just because it makes me feel like I'm doing something. But trust me, in 10 days this is going to be cured up. We're going to go to the next process. You're going to love it. All right, y'all, we're done with our 10 day cure. I've been flipping it every other day. This is the important part right here. Uh, I've got an Orion 25 in an ice water bath. The importance of that ice water bath is to leach out all the salt in that cure. Some folks say 30 minutes, some folks say up to two hours. We tried it 30 minutes, the meat was still too salty to us. At an hour, it almost wasn't salty enough. So we settled in at 45 minutes. Now once you figure out what you like, set yourself a timer because you don't want to go to sleep and screw this up. 45 minutes has been just perfect for us. As soon as that's done, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to pat it dry, I'm going to let it air dry a little bit just to kind of get a little sheen to it. I, I think it's called a pellicle, don't get me wrong, but that's what helps the smoke to adhere to it. While it's doing that air drying, I'm going to be getting the smoker ready to go, using apple wood to smoke with. Next time you see this, it'll be right. All right, y'all. Got these on the smoke last night. Applewood, like I said. Brought them in after they hit an internal of about 160. Put them in the fridge overnight. Now that overnight stay lets that smoke get all the way through the meat. Lets them rest a little bit. About an hour ago, put them in the freezer to tighten them up, and that makes them a little easier to slice. Now you see what it looks like, this gorgeous chunk of meat. And you can see the pile of it already starting to slice down there. I tell you what, I'm not going to lead you wrong. This is easy to do. It's awesome. I think I figured it out. It's like about a buck sixty-five a pound for bacon, roughly, that I'm making, and it is outstanding. I mean, this stuff's so pretty. I'm thinking about making my bride a dress out of it. It is awesome looking. Look at that. We're gonna put some in a skillet. I'll show you a piece of that, but you're not gonna see no more of that unless you come to the house. Hey, that's up to y'all. All right, y'all. From box to butt to that, perfection. Try it. You'll love it.